everybody. Um, welcome back to another Wednesday. Um, let me know if the mic is working. I borrowed a mic from my brother. Um, so if someone could just say on the chat, the mic is working great, but I worked, I, I got a better mic just for today. I'm back in California from Chicago, hence the different background setting. But just like last time, um, I think last time got a little bit out of hand and there was far more people than I thought. I'm <laughs> weirdly hoping that there's less people today so I can be much more controlled, but I will be doing this for exactly an hour instead of the two hours I did last time. Um, use the chat to ask any questions if you want. In the low, low chance that like 120 people like last time come on and the chat goes crazy. If you guys have like a dying, dying question, I found out about a feature called Super Chat last time. So if you want to like send like 50 cents to have it rise to the top and it's a prioritized question, like a live, live or die, live or die question, I'll happily answer it. But I'm going to just go down in order in the chat, hoping there's less people um, so that I can answer all questions effectively. You're not my dog, Brian. Sorry, you're Griffin. I'm not your dog. What's up, Joe? Back. All right. The chat is a lot calmer today. Thank you. Eric Markov, how would you approach, and I, can someone just tell me if the, if the mic is good? Um, how would you approach acquiring a hedge fund private equity internship as opposed to IB internship? Affect your method of networking or the design of your resume, if anything? Yes. So I only have a f number of different friends. So, so a handful of friends that have gone directly into hedge fund, like a buy side beyond IB. Um, I think it's a little different because they're probably expecting some level of internship experience. Um, I will say there's an increase in people or slash firms that are directly recruiting for buy side now. Um, so I think the design of your resume wouldn't change, um, especially if you have the proper information. I will say at a networking standpoint, they probably expect you to have the banking skills ready. So seem more mature during interviews. Um, guys, thanks for joining. I think more people are checking in now. Um, I think there's a slight delay between people actually joining versus what's joining and uh, what's seen. But just like last time, I'm going to answer every question. Um, if it does get out of hand like last time, you guys can um, do the super chat thing, just do the lowest amount and have it rise to the top. But unless you have a, like answer this and I die or whatever question, don't send the money. Um, I'll try to answer all the questions. I'm only doing it for an hour today. Um, but thanks for the mic feedback. Do you feel more fulfilled after, oh, sorry, thoughts on CFA? CFA. Um, I think people get it more because they're actually interested in finance and they want to save for a long time. I've seen people that rise to, to the top without getting one. Um, I think it's more for people that are genuinely interested in finance or need a leg up, but they can't slash don't want to afford an MBA. Um, do you feel more fulfilled after leaving IB? Fulfillment is hard. Um, I think fulfillment, I don't know if you can get fulfillment out of a job. I think most, like 99% of the world, unless you're LeBron James, and even LeBron James sometimes probably can't get fulfillment from jobs. Um, so I don't think, I, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily more fulfilled from the job, but I think after leaving IB, if I have had more free time, and like things like this like live stream makes me more fulfilled. Uh, Mike is good. Thanks for the feedback. Can't hear you. All right. Um, favorite NBA team. Uh, I said last time Lakers. I, I grew up with the Lakers as a young, young kid. Um, 2010s when like Lakers and uh, uh, Celtics, I don't know if you guys remember, but when there was like Sasha, Sasha Vucic on and like Lamar Odom, like that Lakers, the Phil Jackson Lakers versus like uh, Kevin Garnett, uh, like big baby, like that uh, Paul Pierce, the Celtics. Like that's when I was a kid. That's the Lakers I remember. Ever since then, I haven't really followed uh, basketball. What suggestions do you have for high school students looking to get involved in consulting or baking or banking in the future? I wrote that as baking. High school students need to chill. I've had some of these like consulting sessions with people in high school asking like, what should I do in banking? Like guys, like when I was 16, like I was playing league and like picking my nose and like, I didn't even know, like I was like interested in like girls and like having fun. Like, I'm sorry. I, I hate saying it this way, but like, don't think about consulting or banking as a high school student. Brian John King, what's good, brother? What's up, Addy V? Um, I don't even know how you could highlight names like that. CFA versus Masters. Masters, I'm assuming MBA. I would go for MBA if you're trying to break into banking. Financial analyst or NA. Not sure what NA is, but um, I've heard good things about financial analysts. I don't know much about financial analysts, what they actually do. I heard it from last stream that someone said it's like a um, like FPNA and things like that. I think it's a good, a good role. I think it's more laid back than banking. Um, and it's a good leeway into other finance roles. For those of you joining, um, I'm trying. I'm going to answer every question. I'm going to be here for an hour today instead of the hour and 45 that I got out of hand last time. Um, if you have a dying, dying question that you need to get answered, um, do the super chat thing with like the lowest amount possible and shoot it to the top. But other than that, I'm going to answer every question. Um, are you still in Chicago? I am technically based out of Chicago, but I am um, in Irvine right now. Do you have older 27 plus year old analysts in your old group? I did not. Um, the oldest analyst was in my group um, was, if not all of them had right out of undergrad experience, most 
25 plus year olds were associates. Is it very un- uncommon to break into IBM in your late 20s? Um, unless you get an MBA, yes. Kobe's rank on all time GOAT list. Uh, this is controversial. Um, I still think MJ's the best. Uh, I have nothing to back that, but I, I like, I'm not the biggest LeBron fan. I hope I don't get canceled for that. Lamar Odom, yes. What does a good investment portfolio look like a young professional in their 20s? Fun fact, Joanne, there's a video coming uh, in a couple, in like two weeks that I already made. That's going to be talking about my current investment portfolio, which is doing terribly. Uh, just invest in the S&P 500. Include major GPA on resume if it's better than your uh, overall GPA, 100%. Uh, laughing, laughing, laughing emoji. Advice for a sophomore undergrad without an internship this summer. Uh, I've seen a lot of those. Ah, sophomores, though, like I think sophomore summer, yes, definitely matters. It doesn't have to be banking slash finance. As long as you could spin it to a story that matches that, I think it's fine. Um relax. It's, it's a hard time. Like COVID is hard. I think try to get at least something to a class at the latest, uh, at the least, maybe like do YouTube or like do a project. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fret too hard. Is getting into regional boutique easier than bulge MM bank? I would argue so because there's less people applying, um, but there are also less, less spots because a lot of these banks aren't really looking to scale that hard. Um, but I would argue by percentage, it's definitely probably easier. Um, skills needed for equity research. I'm not a big expert on ER, but the one friend I have that went into ER or equity research, it seems like they're much more like quantitative and by the definition, uh, research based. It's less process based. Um, were you expected to know modeling and financial analysis before you applied, or did you learn it when you became an analyst? You learned it as you became an analyst. Uh, less less experienced applicants. I think um, it's more about just like the irony in jobs, guys. As I'm sure many of you know, is that the things that you prepare to get the job has almost relatively nothing to do with what you actually do on the job. I think a lot of the times it's used to weed out and see if you're willing to put in the effort to get the job rather than what you actually did on the job. And I think that's the same across software engineering, banking, like doctor, whatever. Like rarely what you actually practice to get the job has nothing to do about um, what you get on the job. So I, I think that's, 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 that's my two cents. Do you play instrument guitars here? So Play is a very general word, but I was decently good at clarinet when I was young. Uh, I played oboe for a bit. Um, I learned piano when I was really little. Barely can play it now, but I can read music. Um, I can play guitar as in like I could strum chords if you show me a, a board. I played bass for a little bit, but jack of all trades, master of none, you know? Why do you regret going to IB? <laughs> I made a video. Um, there's I regret everything. I mean, I think most people in life that are more thoughtful regret most things. Um, go, go watch the video if you want to see why I actually regret IB. Um, it's okay. Nobody likes LeBron anymore. Um, uh, no comment. Did you know anything about Lion Tree Investment Banking? I do not. Nice, Mike. Ian John, who's on, is my brother. He's the person that lent me this. Uh, Mike, go shout out Ian John. Hey, man, what's up? Do you ever plan? What's up? Do you plan on getting your CPA? I do not. I'm not interested in accounting, even though I'm an accounting major. Um, at what subscriber count would you quit your job and pursue YouTube full time? I, okay, I've thought about this. Not that I'm anywhere close to taking IB or YouTube full-time. I think I enjoy YouTube because it's not a full-time gig and I enjoy it because it's like a side gig that I don't take seriously and it's more for fun. And I genuinely just like talking. I like making videos. Once it becomes a full-time thing, I guarantee you, I will stress over it and it won't be fun anymore. That's just the type of person I am. Can interviewers tell if interviewer, interviewees have memorized answers? 100%. Um, I've interviewed people before. You can tell when someone is organic versus they memorize the same answer 50,000 times. Um, uh, hey, Brian, what did you like most about investment banking job? I would argue everything that existed in investment banking before COVID. I like traveling. I like the prestigious stuff, just being blunt. I like the cool like bar events, the like open happy hours, the interactions you get with senior bankers, everything that broke down after work from home. How shall incoming IB analysts prepare for the job? Um, like two weeks ahead of time. I would just say relax, uh, get into a routine, make sure your work from home setup is good, get ready to communicate, over communicate, um, learn some Excel shortcuts that you can, but most of it will come from volume. Ian, John, do you want to cop Supreme? Okay, let's ignore Peter Griffin. Um, does your staffer from IB ever watch your channel? Uh, well, so I'm not an IB anymore. Um, I doubt my staffer from IB watches my channel. Um, but I've had some MDs reach out to me while I was working saying like, Hey, uh, like YouTube is cool. How long into your analyst years? Do you feel like your technical skills sort of peaked probably eight, nine months in what's your favorite food? Um, I like, um, uh, I mean, cop out answers like, Oh, Korean food. But like, I've been liking a like, wide variety of food lately. I would say my top cuisine is probably Italian. Um, uh, just guys for a record, I actually also hired 
uh, one of my friends to be a mod. So if you um, less 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 uh, craziness later uh, as last time. What do you think about PE analyst programs versus IB? I mean, going into directly PE, if you were really into my side, like why do the IB just do the IB? I think a lot of people do IB just to say like they did IB. If you're in it for the long run, why not go for the take the chance? I will say I think there's still senior people out there at financial firms that believe that that's like the rite of passage. So there there's a there's validity to it. Um, I would just I would I would be careful in, in choosing the right thing. Um, what do you, oh, and it's starting to spam. All right. What most embarrassing story where can I be? Love this question. Okay. So my um, second week of work, my second week of work, uh, we were taught, we were doing like scheduling and we were scheduling a meeting with our client and I was like second week summer analyst. This wasn't even during full time. And the CEO of the company that we were working with was named Brian. Um, same spelling too. And I tell the story every time someone asks me if there's any embarrassing work stories. And our MD emailed the entire team involved, like our team, their team, saying, hey, like, Brian, what's your schedule like next week? Me being, like, the try-hard, like, second week summer analyst, I was like, I got to impress and I got to show them, like, what my full schedule is. So I made this beautiful, like, uh, Excel calendar of, like, my schedule, 30-minute breakdown for the next week. And I, like, sent it out to the whole team saying, this is my availability. My like first year analyst that was above me starts laughing like hysterically. Clearly, the email was meant for Brian, the CEO. Um, and my friend, my guy was like, no one cares about your schedule, Brian. Uh, very embarrassing. What do you think most interviewers at Bulge Brackets are looking for in a new hire intern? Um, technicals down, some level of BS behaviorals that you could somehow convince that you're the best person for the job, even though 10,000 people were work, uh, doing it. So a mix of networking, behavioral, and technicals. What technical skills should I learn before my summer internship at IB? They'll teach you everything. If you already land on the internship, uh, I think like practicing Excel is probably the best. Advice to learn finance skills in the summer. Um, depends on what can you if you can provide more context. I mean, you can study all day, but like it depends on what you're trying to go for. Rockley is your neighbor, favorite character. Rockley, probably. Advice to get a summer internship junior year. Um, networking, study behaviorals, make sure you want to be in banking. Um, depends what year you're in, but try to tie your story into it. What's your college major and GPA? I studied accounting and my GPA was a 3.8. Um, Rocky, yes. I'm a petroleum engineer. Wow. Who has worked in his business, business analyst. You're a petroleum engineer who has worked as a business analyst. MA. That's interesting. Updating deals and providing decks. I'm going to master's in economics and business. Summer IB rule. Uh, it seems like you have everything. Um, I, I would just make sure that your finance skills are intact just because you've been a more of a business inclined uh uh, engineer focused person, but it seems like you're doing great. Um, nice. Any advice for coffee chats? I think just be relaxed. I think bankers can smell when someone's not relaxed and they don't like that. Um, I think it's okay. It, 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 it's a conversation. Yes, you should work to impress them, but at the end of the day, they're just another human being. I think people go into coffee chats thinking like these are gods among men. It's a conversation. What advice would you give to a freshman going to non target to get into investment banking? Um, it's definitely possible. I've seen people get it from non targets. You obviously need to have to do more work. But I think uh, another part of that is many, you're not going to be competing with others. A lot of at target schools like Ross and things like that, everyone's going for banking. Whereas at non targets, people are probably going for something else. So you might stand out. Um, make sure you um, just prep enough and, and, and network enough and try to find some connection that went to your school that isn't banking. Latest time you stayed up for IB, uh, 4 30 a.m. Is the college you attended a big deal within the office? Is there a sense of hierarchy depending on the prestige of the undergrad? Um, I wouldn't say so. I think it matters in terms of like networking and like making your way up a little bit, but I'm and like, you know, bro culture and like trying to like fit in and, and there's things you could talk about with people that went to your school since there's familiarity. But aside from that, I wouldn't say so. How hard is your interview at the startup versus IBP interviews? I would say just different. I wouldn't say one was harder than the other. Um, how about the Lambo coop inside the, I'm guessing this is a, a song. Is your life stress-free right now or are you loaded with work? Um, I think it's different types of stress, Ian. I think uh, banking is more structured. I think startups are more loose. I'm not sure if like the next step is as evident in startups. So there's a lot of like, what will I do in my life questions? But that's just like me being general. I'm a rising junior, just got into finance major. So what should I do to prep for IB and finance and land a junior summer internship network. Um, you should probably really start applying because if you're a rising junior, a lot of the internships are already like flying away. So use the summer to prep accordingly. Thank you for answering. Happy answer. What's the best thing you've ever seen on someone's resume? Whoa. 
I've seen someone that said that they, oh, oh, I've, uh, I recently saw someone that also was a YouTuber. I forget who, it was. of course I forget who it was, but I thought that was cool. Um, thoughts on unpaid small boutique analysts. I think unpaid gets a bad name. It sucks to be unpaid, but if that's the only thing you end up with, you might as well do it for the experience. Um, how long do you have to work usually like right now? Um, decently, I, I, I would say like upwards of 50 hours, 60 hours, maybe even rarely weekends. Um, would you work in a hedge fund? Um, I don't think I'm as interested in the public markets or like as of now, it's also because of a lot of like technical skills. I don't think I'm like the most technical guy. Thanks. Appreciate the answer. Happy to answer. How often did you meet with clients? Um, all the time. I would say almost every day and which job in finance meets a lot with clients. Uh, I would say banking, wealth management. Do you think international students can land a spot in IB? Yeah. I have plenty of people, uh, talking to me on this channel that are international students that are in IB. I think it depends on whether the bank sponsors like a visa or not. That's the problem. Um, do you have any info on prop trading firms, tips applying, um, ETC? I don't know much about prop trading firms. Sorry, Milano. Um, Cartier Gucci sent me uh, two euros. Can you, thank you. Um, can you wish my friend Nick Gurr happy birthday? Nick Gurr. Oh, that's a bad word. Okay. That's funny. Not really. Uh, let's not be inappropriate guys. Um, thanks. Um, any advice to not get nervous during super days? I think, um, I think a lot of people go into super days because there's so many like adults interviewing at the same time. Um, no field like IB has people that are a lot older than you. I think that's one of the biggest parts. Um, and there's like this prestigious famous, um, firm. And like, I think that's probably, um, like the issue. Um, also like Joe, can you put Cartier Gucci's car? timeout, um, inappropriate, but, but back to the nervous question, I think if you prep up, you, you won't be nervous. Like there will be that subconscious level of nervousness, but like outside of that, I think you can let it go by being prepped enough and just saying, you know what? I'm going as a conversation. This is not, I already did all the prep. I gave it my best shot and what it, it is going to be what it is in terms of IB are Amanda valuations and LB, LBO is the main things to understand. Yeah. I'd say like DCF and then the four main valuations. Book recommendations. Currently, I'm reading Thinking Fast and Slow, um, which is a statistics book. Um, uh, I also like Sapiens. Um, I like um, – what else did I read recently? Um, I read the Bible every day. Um, and um, Steve Jobs, great book. Um, if you had to choose between uh, being an analyst at a tech PE firm or being an analyst at a top IB out of undergrad – I think having IB experience is important, especially if you're not going to be in finance forever. But if you are dead set and you came out of the womb knowing that you wanted a PE somehow, why not go for the tech PE? Were you nervous for the first time going into climate? meeting? Can I be honest? No. Um, I think I'm just like okay with people. I don't going to sound cocky, but I thrived. I, like climate meetings were probably my favorite parts of banking. Any advice for freshman uni students on getting an internship? Um, depends on what internship you're looking for. I would recommend freshmen to do what they want. Um, in terms of IB, um, Manda, I'm I'm sorry, I don't know what Manda means, uh, but valuation LBO is the main things to understand. Like walking how like the four main valuation methods, how to build the DCF. LBO more conceptual if you're going to banking. Wealth management to IB a good internship path. Yeah, I've seen people do it. Um, I don't aside from the fact that it's finance, I don't think there's a lot of overlap there, but people have done it. Hard over technicals. Um, what job would you recommend someone interested in the public markets and building wealth for clients? Um, hedge fund, uh, but that's that's less client, that's more you. Um, wealth management. But a lot of wealth management doesn't necessarily work with public markets, though. Um, why does my heart beat fast before an interview? Take deep breaths. Um, I think it's just natural. People get nervous. I get nervous all the time, too. But I think just telling yourself that you're there. If you're at an interview, that means they want you as well. I think interviews, a lot of times, people think, like, it's all about me impressing them. Interviews are also about them impressing you. Like, they've taken a lot of money and time and effort to get you into that interview room. They would much rather have you be a killer candidate than... than have you not be good and go for someone else? I think using that to your advantage is a good thing. Um, what's the most important skill that you learned so far? I would say the idea of actually doing work obviously is important, but letting other people know that you're doing that work in an effective manner doesn't come across as, oh, I'm doing work, but more letting people always know that what you're doing, like that's the number one skill in any work. Um, in sales and training a front office role, um, 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, sales uh, ST is pretty legit. Um, I think it's dying a little bit because of algorithms and like AI and stuff. But sales will continue to be sales. Trading, I think, is being replaced a lot with comps that people. Can you have a faded IB? I think it's fine. I've seen people with fades in IB. Um, were you in a financial advisory team in IB? I was in an M and A team, um, so I guess it is financial advisory, accounting or finance. I was an accounting major, but if you want to go into finance, obviously finance. I would assume is better. Shout out Bible, God first, God first. Any books that helped you outside of the classroom to help with IB material? If I'm being real, no. I read Liar's Poker and I thought, whoa, like traders is cool, but trading is nowhere near what Liar's Poker or Lewis in area was. Brian John, we're driving down the PCH. We're in drop top four and I hand you the ox. What song are you playing? I was actually at the PCH last week. Um, I am playing City of Angels 24K, 24K Golden. Are you into real estate? Um, I'm kind of thinking into it, but I'm not into it. Do I own anything? No, I own a car. Um, do you think growth equity firms prefer to hire analysts that are also launching a startup over someone who has a traditional IB background? I think growth equity is relatively similar to private equity, but if you're thinking about like venture capital, they are more untraditional in what they're looking for. They're not looking for just IB experience. I think they're looking for some level of startup following or they're people that are into startups. Um, would you have stayed in IB longer if COVID didn't happen? Wow. That is hard. I've thought about this. Um, I think so. I think I would have liked it a lot more. I think there were various aspects about COVID. The fact that I wasn't in the office, there was no people interaction. There was no client interaction. There was no travel. Um, there was no camaraderie between me and my fellow analysts. There is like, it felt like I was a freelancer. People just sending me work and me doing it, which I think a lot of people are feeling right now without regardless of their IB or not. Yes. Yes, I would have. How easy is it go to go from ER to IB? I don't know anyone personally, but I am certain it's possible. Ironically, I know many people that went from IB to ER though. How to stay confident in any situation. For me, I wasn't, I think, always the most confident person. And now like I'm very driven by confidence and not to say I'm not 1000% that I'm confident. No one is like that. Um, but I think for me, it's one of those things where you're going to go into a situation and you're going to be either confident or you're not confident. Whether or not you're actually confident or not, deep, deep inside, the other person will never know. If you can lie to yourself and tell yourself you're confident, then you should come up as confident confident, and you basically are confident. Um, I, I, I know that sounds insane, but I think I'm com I think that's what drives confidence. And when you're comfortable with yourself, if you can love yourself, you can lo love others confidently. And that's something that I, I try to live by. Um, my role model, I said my dad last time as kind of a corny answer. Um, I'm really, really big on Steve Jobs just because of the, the journey that he's made. Um, and, and how he is about um, telling people what they need versus uh, trying to figure out what they need. Um, and I think he takes a very, he took a very unorthodox approach to that. Um, yeah, I would say Steve Jobs. Thoughts on the current inflation scare? So many things going on right now. Um, the gas thing, uh, all these hedge funds flying out of stocks. I think a lot of the middle class that have raised their wealth over the past year are losing everything. Tesla is gone. Um, it's not gone, but it, it like hit 500 something today. Um, Everyone with Biden bucks, um, just having so much money. Um, there are people not working. McDonald's is paying people to interview them because no one wants to work anymore. Every Uber ride I get into, every Uber driver is complaining about how um, the gas prices are so high. They don't want to work anymore. Um, some people are arguing that it's better to be on welfare than working. Um, minimum wages skyrocketing. There's just so many. Obviously, if you print money, there's going to be inflation. Like I don't know what people expect. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a bubble. I don't know if there's going to be a pop. I'm not an economist, but there is a concern and it's scary. Do you feel like consulting jobs are generally easier to get again than IB? No, I think consulting, if anything, takes somewhat of a more catered approach because of the case study thing. And I think it's almost weirdly less known than IB now. And it's, it's, it's like a mysterious thing to get into. How do I get into a big three consulting firm? Uh, I've never gone into consulting, but do your case interviews, do networking and um, have a high GPA. Do you still have the Fiat? Yeah, I do. I have the, uh, the Fiat Spider. Um, what company is the largest position in your portfolio? Apple. Um, I actually have a video coming out on my investment portfolio uh, in two weeks. Did you take a pay cut from IB when you joined your startup? Um, not in salary. And um, that's all I can say about that. How was your situation during COVID during IB? It was not great. Um, I'm an extrovert. COVID in general sucked for me, especially in the beginning. Um, it was very frustrating to be on the VPN and have crappy connection all the time. Um, suddenly there was like a zero drop to no work. And then all of a sudden there was a spike in all this work. It was not great. What was your biggest pain point during your time IB in terms of workflow? I would 100% say waiting for feedback without people ahead of you telling you when they'll give it back. Um, that's one of the biggest mysteries of IB that I'm like vocally very critical of, of that I just simply don't understand. 
Um, it really takes one second. I don't buy the like I was too busy or there were too many emails coming in argument from like VPs and MDs. It takes a split second for someone to say, hey, I'm going to review this later or I'm going to get back to you by 11 p.m., whatever. It's not about actually staying up. Like I, I never mind it staying up. It's about staying up with no direction and feeling scared to ask, like, when is this feedback coming back? Um, I, I, like that just continues to kind of boggle my mind why that's like a given in banking, why um, having this chain of command and, and, and waiting around is like a natural thing when it, like in this age of instant communication, it takes one chat to say, hey, I'm kind of caught up right now. I'm going to review this later. Don't worry about it. Or I'm going to review this tomorrow. Um, and I've had managers do that very effectively and I've had managers suck at that. Um, can you tell me more of the boot or bro culture? Are you forced to learn football teams, especially for international? Students? No, you're not forced to learn anything, but here's my take on culture. Um, I, I sure there's toxic cultures around and it's hard to break in, but reality is any organization you join, um, and whether you know it or not, you at some point were in a culture and it might've not been bro culture that someone from the outside might've viewed as hard to get into. Um, and they probably criticize you guys for having a culture that they couldn't get into. Um, IB is prominently a bro culture because that's just where the finance firms began. And that's how Wall Street is structured. Um, should we change that forcibly? I don't know. Um, can we change that forcibly? I'm not sure either. Um, are we forced to learn football? No. But given that a lot of the managers are people that might be into football, might be into um, pro sports, like went to Big Ten schools, is it helpful to know those things? And is it easier to get along with them if you know those things? Of course. Um, should we force them to open up and be culturally aware with other things? Like then should we force everyone to be culturally open to everything? I'm not sure. Like that's, I think that's like a big question at hand in the 21st century. Um, and, and I've, I've, to be honest, very mixed feelings with that. Would it be possible to transfer? Um, sorry, I didn't know that there were so many questions. Would it be possible to transfer to IB from corporate banking? For those of you joining now, I, I just saw a spike in numbers. Um, I'm going through like last time. I'm only going to do an hour today. Um, I'm going to answer all the questions top to bottom. If you have a dying question, feel free to do the super chat thing to, to the top, but I am going through every question. Um, would it be possible to transfer to IB from corporate banking? I've seen people do it. Um, I would recommend an MBA, but I've seen people do it without an MBA. Tips on how you do good in interviews. Prep, 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 and um, take notes while you're prepping. Interview and uh, practice in front of a mirror. Remember what you networked on. I think those are important things. Um, bro, I was inspired by Liars Poker though. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I say so. So was I. But I, I, I think the atmosphere that you see in Liars Poker is no longer the excitement that you have in banking. Um, when do you usually go live? I started last week. I'm doing it every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. What pays the most? I be software engineer at Fang or Quant analyst. Um, quant by far. I know Quant's one of my Quant friends at top firms like Citadel, pulling three, four hundred k. Um, I be more. I be a sweet. Uh, I would say similar in total comp. Um, I like your Opa hair. <laughs> yeah, I got a haircut today. Thank you. Um, thoughts on hustle culture. I know you mentioned a video coming up soon. I'm curious. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that video. Um, I just have to put a lot of thought into it. I would say my two cents now would be, I think it's somewhat toxic. Um, everyone is now expected to be their own company and have three, four jobs at a time, ironically and hypocritically coming from me, who like is having a three to four job. Um, and, and I think our generation was taught by our previous generations that, oh, you just gotta work hard. It's no longer working hard. You have to hustle to survive. And it seems like, even if that's not the case, that's what people make it seem like. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate. Like I, I know a lot of my friends struggling because they only have a job and there's no side gig and there's no side hustle. And it seems like they feel behind. And if you feel behind and everyone agrees that you feel behind, then you probably are behind. Um, but definitely a video on that house tour. Uh, maybe later. There is a house tour of my Chicago home on my channel though. What do you think prepares you more, a uh, top LAC or top research university? Not sure what LAC is, but I heard Wharton is really good. Of course, Wharton is the GOAT. Um, but I feel like a school like Williams Amherst has, a oh, liberal arts college, sorry, has less competition, more resources. I would agree. Um, if you, I think if you were strategic about it, uh, top liberal arts college could be a, a good move. But I would say a school like Wharton or, or uh, Big Ten are, are safer bets. Um Let's see. What are your thoughts on double degrees? Um, our school stopped allowing double degrees like my sophomore year. So I, 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 don't, I don't know if it matters. I've never seen anyone say, oh, you have a different double degree. Like you're better than someone with a single degree. Do you golf? I do. I'm not great, but I do golf. Um, hey, are fintech firms going worth going to? I think fintech is very uh, inflated right now. Everyone's fintech now. I don't even know what like fintech is limited or extended to. Um, I think it's dope. It's like a, definitely a new industry that everyone's going to, but I think it's just like P, it's very saturated. When did you start recruiting for IB? Um, end of my sophomore year, beginning of uh, summer, 
summer sophomore year, end of sophomore year. No evidence of positive correlation between M2 and inflation in history. Um, yeah, except they stopped tracking M2 um, weekly for some weird reason. How'd you find your current startup job? They uh, reached out to me directly on. Um, they reached out to me directly on um, LinkedIn. Um, sorry, I'm gonna answer a text really quick. Um, thank you for answering. By far the most underrated business YouTuber. Thanks for keeping it real. Thanks. Um, I'm a current first year IBM analyst that really dislikes the job. Should I quit after my bonus in August or stick it out? Um, wow, this is, I mean, it's so circumstantial. It's like so case by case, but, um, I say stick it out. I think there's some kind of rainbow at the end of the tunnel. I think they're trying to make it better, um, goal at the end of the tunnel. And I think being in the office will make it a lot better. You never, if you're a first year, you never had in the office experience in the office IB is cooler. Um, um, could you make a video about explaining DCF models, what you learned with experience in m and um, I always answer this question by saying there's so many videos on YouTube about DCF models and like M&A. And like most of what I learned about DCF and M&A wasn't during m and I learned it like over the shoulder. And I don't think I can do a good job, um, especially being four months out. In the current climate of social media and online islands, what do you as a working professional look for in a woman? Jesus. I'm going to dodge that question. Uh, you know what? Actually, I won't dodge that question. Um, just bluntly, like I'm someone that... Um, likes uniqueness um when i think about like a partner um i take that for what it means uh, is 26 uh, 20 years old um too old to enter ib as an analyst yes um sorry I, you could do an associate after mba but yeah is ib harum i don't know what that means um collab with a rare liquid i don't know what rare liquid is um breaking into banking from consulting mba necessary um no i think you can do it without an mba it depends how old you are and what role you're going for MBA would be nice. Um, I've seen people do it. How do I write? Um, sorry, I, this is important. Sorry, my friend is talking about the, the gas crisis. Um, um, how do I write a good cover letter? Can I, okay, this is going to sound absurd. I have never, ever written a cover letter. Um, I've like definitely not for IB, not never for a job. Um, I, I, I know that sounds absurd. I've never written a cover letter. Um, I would, I would just, I would make, like just use a template. I, I don't like, I doubt people actually pick candidates based on cover letters. Um, Food recommendations about for what to order with my IB intern meal allowance for today. Um, I always went for whatever I could make it close to the limit. We were $30. Um, it was like my screw you to the firm that I could like when I spent the most, which is ironic because it was obviously out of the client's pockets. But um, that reminds me of a line from uh, Wolf of Wall Street, take the money from the client's pockets into your pockets, Fugazi. Um, whatever is the most expensive. How do you prep for HFLS interviews? Um, know about the stock market, know about, um, know about like COVID impact, know about what's going to do well. Hedge fund stuff is hard. Uh, make sure you know modeling really well. Ray Liquid is another finance banking YouTuber. He makes some cool vids. Okay. Sounds great. Um, former investment. Okay. What are they saying about gas? Um, the East Coast is trapped in terms of gas. I think they, they resolved it, but they have the um, uh, uh, ransomware thing. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but uh, in, in the East Coast, they lit someone literally hacked the pipeline and they didn't have gas for a bit, but I think it's good now. Um, what, how, Bob, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, everything, Oh, the cover letter. Yeah. I've, I've never written a cover letter. Um, what should I focus on as a freshman in college in order to get into IB or consulting? Um, good, good consults, good, uh, internship experiences. Make sure you, um, network, but I, I would focus the freshman year to think about, do I really want to do IB? What did you get on the SAT? I didn't take the SAT. I took the S A, -A C T and I got a 35. Um, what's the most frequent question you get asked during 30 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions? Great question. Um, does my resume look okay? Um, should I do my major GPA or my overall GPA? Um, am I loot too late for IB? What should I know for IB? Um, I get also a lot of like, I can't believe I'm talking to you right now, even though like I'm a nobody. Um, why do full-time IB analyst roles require one plus of experience when you're pretty much trying to get right in front of, um, school? This is without having a summer analyst role which is not one plus years because summer analyst roles is a 
one year packed rule within three months and they're trying to do a high barrier to entry. Um, and it, when you get a summer internship, that's like with the understanding that you tried hard in college. And I think that's why they do it. Um, Rare Liquid is a wannabe Brian John. Oh, let's not be, let's not be mean. Um, Brian John or Ian John, who's running that throwdown? Uh, he is. Um, do you read the morning brew? And eh, not really. I, I'm a more Reddit guy. Brian is better than like, let's not, let, let's not, let's not share. Let's not, let's not uh, be mean. I don't know who Rare Liquid is, but I'm sure he's a great guy. Um, let's see. How important is Excel and best way to become professional using it? Like massive practice and volume. Um, you honestly become an Excel whiz in banking without even knowing it because you do it so many times. Where do you get your primary review source? Um, <laughs> Reddit and my friends. How long do you spend each day reading newspaper? Zero hours. Um, I agree. Uh -huh. Felix Agusa, 35. What is 30? Oh, ACT, yes. Um, are there good finance opportunities in the Bay Area? Oh, tons. There's so many, like especially venture capital, a lot of these banking firms that are doing financial advisory, tons, tons. When you interviewed candidates for IB, what did you look for the most? Um, whether you want to work with them for hours on end, um, likability and just cool. Um, best advice you can give to a junior in college. Enjoy senior year. Seriously. Um, college will never come back and post-college life sucks. Um, can you say let's go in the Brian voice? Let's go. Uh, favorite Excel shortcut. Alt H O I. Um, you, it's basically it it narrows down the the column based on the the, the cell that you're in. Um, love that, love that uh, Excel thing. Let's go. Uh, any plans on uploading a mukbang video? Uh, I do on my Korean channel. I've like eaten stuff before, but uh, <laughs> that'd just be kind of. Aw I'd love to. I love eating. What subreddits do you read? Um, our Star Wars, our Marvel Studios. Um, our personal finance. I'm trying to get into cryptocurrency, like understand it better. So I've been reading that a lot. Our politics, um, our like watch people die inside or something. Um, uh, I love Reddit. I probably should stop, but I love it. Where did you learn Excel during work? I never really learned it. There was like this one credit course in school that I did, but never learned it from there. What is your most unpopular opinion? Um, wow. Why you put me on the spot? Um, I have a video called Instagram can't solve racism, but I don't think that's, that's necessarily unpopular. Um, um, my most unpopular opinion. Oh my gosh. I want to jump. I want to do something cool and funny. Um, oh, I genuinely dislike candy. I don't like sweets. I don't like chocolate. I just don't like sweets. Um, I enjoy a video from Japan. Love you, man. Thanks dude. Um, like how you did you like, how did you learn the ropes through work? Um, literally just figuring out like banging my head do brian griffin voice i don't have a brian griffin voice do you have any funny stories from being an ra i do i have tons um we did this uh prank war between me and my residents um they like hit all my shoes before i switched their mattresses before um i lots of lots of good memories i miss being an ra best advice for sophomore in college um if i said enjoy junior year that'd be a cop-out answer i think sophomore year is really when you like get your foot settled you have your solid group of friends you're socially pretty secure. So it's time to think about your career. Um, best advice you can give to a sophomore in college entering an investment banking internship at a boutique lower middle market firm. Um, really try the best, try your best, get the most out of it. I think um, after your sophomore year, there's a lot to learn. Um, and I think I think you're gonna do do very well. Just don't stretch, be overly communicative. Um, and I think, I think it's all gonna be great. Um, just love banking for finance at Fang. Hell yeah. What are the exit ops you see from that? Or is that usually a terminal job? No, I think you can go to smaller banks, smaller things, smaller tech companies and lead their charge. Maybe jump to strategy or product if you don't like finance. Um, I think Fang on your resume is always great. Is University of Michigan Liberal Arts College a target school for banking? University of Michigan is definitely not a liberal arts college, but University of Michigan Ross is a target school for banking. What types of models should you know for investment banking? DCF, operating model, but... Um, just basically learn like how to do it rather than like go deep dive because they'll teach you on the job. What is your go-to intro line when networking? Um, hey, name's Brian. Went to liberal arts university uh, in Virginia. Grew up in California. Did banking. Now working for a startup. Um, I have a YouTube channel with 15,000 subscribers. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, that'd be a very douchey thing to say. 
I, I just kind of go with like, I'm a, I, I kind of go with the flow and I do some stocking beforehand and try to relate it to whatever they're into. Um, so I think, I think it's great. Um, what type of model? Okay. We already did this. Sorry. Um, a while back when I left a comment on one of your IB videos, just saying I just discovered them in the midst of recruiting and a little after I didn't give an offer. That's fantastic. Your videos have helped a ton. Thanks again. I always think it's funny. That's great. I always think it's funny when people say like my videos helped. Like, I don't think, I feel like my videos are just like very bland. I don't know, but that's great to hear. Any Reddit sections I'd be looking at um, besides our Star Wars? Um, it depends on what you're, what you're looking for. Um, if you're looking for funny stuff, like there's, there's a ton. Um, I think like fire financial independence, re retire early is a good, good, like one personal finance. Good one. Um, does learning Python or other coding languages have for IB? Nope. Not at all. You never lose, never code for IB. Um, any advice for junior in high school who wants to get into investment banking, bro, <laughs> junior in high school, enjoy high school. You don't know if you want to be a banker or not. You don't even know what banking is going to be like by the time you're a real adult. Hypothetically, would a PE firm hire a top target who is not personable at all compared to a non-target who is very personable? I'm not trying to like sound mean, but I feel like these like either or questions are just like so hard because it's so case by case. Like I I I don't think there's like a yes or no answer, and I think a lot of times these questions are asked to like affirm a belief. Like it really depends. Um, I I would side with the personable, but like some firms are very target heavy. I, I, that's that's a hard question. Um, Will you do this again next Wednesday? Uh, yeah, I'm doing this every Wednesday, um, 7 p.m., 10 p.m. Eastern. Is Georgia Tech a target school for banking VC? Uh, I think kind of. I don't know anyone from Georgia Tech uh, personally. Any advice on how to negotiate a salary? Uh, yes. Um, I would look it up on Glassdoor um, and then maybe like go a little bit above that and say like I've seen this wage online and like this is what people say it is. Um, and then um, try to like aim higher. They're always trying to short sell you in the beginning. So just like – Say oh, an absurd amount and they'll, they'll help you. Um, any advice on uh, – oh, I just answered that. Uh, Daniel, you want in and out or Chick-fil-A? Wow. Um, my next video on my Korean channel is on Chick-fil-A, actually. Go check that out. Um, it's featured on my channel page. Um, as a Californian, I'm sorry. I have to say in and out How to avoid looking rough after for 8 a.m. meetings when I've been up late cranking slides. Dude. Story of my life. When I worked um, Chicago hours in California, I would wake up at like 6 a.m. looking rough F. Um, thankfully, my video quality for my Mac or my front computer wasn't that great. Just turn the camera off. I mean, unless they're like required to the camera, but like everyone understands, like you're up early. Unless you're on a client climb meeting, otherwise, like if you're in a client meeting, you should look good. But rough F is fine. Have you ever been shouted at someone by the, by someone at the office? I have. Um, but it, it like it wasn't like a, I wouldn't say it was like a rude, like absurd, like abusive. It was like, you should have done better, um, which I appreciated. This for my tips for my super day at a boutique this week. I mean, mainly since I'm talking to MD's partners. Um, MD's and partners are way more relaxed. Like they don't have to prove themselves. They're more going to be like dad, mom figures. Um, just like be cool, be professional, but like show interest. They like passionate people. Big four MA transaction advisory to IV possible. Yes, I've seen people do it. Um, Addy B, 10. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you're the GOAT. I'm signing off. Thank you for answering my rambunctious questions. Happy to help anytime. Um, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. Um, sorry, guys. I lost my place. Um, who's your favorite YouTuber besides yourself? Ooh, as someone that loves myself very much, that is a hard question. Um, that is really question. That is really hard. Um, my favorite Casey Neistat, but he hasn't been uploading recently. He kind of went like a different path, but I really, really like Casey Neistat. What's happening in Palestine? Very political. To be honest, I would, I would honestly speak about it if I knew, but I don't know. How to sound professional presentations when you have no time to practice beforehand? Um, I think once you do presentations enough, you, you learn how to BS. Do you think knowing program betting fits IB? It does not. Um, what role did investment banks play in the 2008 financial crisis? A significant amount. I mean, they created the um, CDO. They created MBSs. Louis Ranieri back in the 80s created that with with um, Solomon Brothers. Um, can you can you fully fully blame them? I don't know. There were participants in the retail section, but um, they knew what was happening. Any advice careers you know that apply machine learning, AI, and Python? I don't know about Python specifically, but definitely quants and robo firms. Uh, most important skill for an investment banker: grit. 
Brian, thanks for answering my questions. Have a great night. Great night. Um, any tips for foreign students? Toronto, Canada. Um, I heard that Canada is more program based, not target school based. So get into a good program um, and make sure that the visas are transferable. But I'm assuming I, I think Canada the like passports work for working. It's it's like a pretty strong passport for working in the United States. Do you have advice for success stories with cold emailing? Um, I would you got to have some level of connection for this person to um, help you out. Uh, most of the connections that I have are through my school, and our alumni network is pretty strong. It's 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 really hard when people reach out and they have no established connection. Like you got to think about it like yourself. If someone approached you that you barely knew that you had no connection to, like would you help them? You would like to, but you would prioritize those that um, aren't or are. Best purchase to make for incoming IB analysts in terms of like working from home. I'd say like a sturdy desk, um, dual screen monitors. Hope your bank supplies that for you. Um, good mic, good camera, good internet connection. Um, good chair. Chair is huge. Jake Paul. You know, honestly, I have mixed feelings about Jake Paul, but Logan Paul, I know that he's been through some crazy stuff that he shouldn't have done. But at the same time, like Logan Paul, the fact that he's come back from so many things and he continuously challenges himself in different ways. I think that's something that like we can't really talk over. Would you ever do like a day in my life or a vlog? Um, I kind of did as a joke. I did like a, a week in my life where I took my week off from banking. I was just like golfing. Um, I'm thinking about vlogging, but I need to just think about equipment and like what I need to do. Is my life interesting? Probably not, but I do it on my Korean channel if you're interested in that. Underrated things that can lead you to getting fired in IB. Um, I've never seen anyone get fired. Ah, I've seen someone get fired from IB, but um, – I think it's just like not giving enough effort. It's more about effort. I'm signing off too. Thanks for so much for answering. See you next week, Rock. Uh, for the Canada question, Ivy Smith, Roman, uh, McGill, Queens, Western Toronto. Yeah, the programs. Thanks, Chris. Um, I've only seen Ivy and Queens kids getting to states right now from school. Thanks, guys. I, I actually don't know much about Canada, but I've heard it's program based. I got a super day for Ivy tomorrow. What is the best way to prepare? Make sure you know like the, the company inside and out, why you want to do Ivy. I always say it's three things. It's why you, why Ivy, why, Ivy, why them. Um, I think that's the most important thing. How hard is it to start a successful business? Impossible almost. I think most businesses fail. Um, you really have to either have a good idea or have good timing or both. Where do you recommend living in Chicago? How important is it to be living within 20 minute walking distance? I think it's just like easier, but a lot of people live away from work. Like people work away from downtown, especially with like remote work being more prevalent. People work and live in Old Town, um, like Wrigley, Wrigley Park, all that. Um, Wrigley Fields. I, I, I live in Streeterville, very close to work, and I used to live in downtown, downtown. Um, River North is nice, um, Old Town is nice. Best movies and TV shows to watch. I don't watch any shows related to IB, or and I didn't while I was in IB. But I love Wolf of Wall Street. I love Big Short. Heard great things about American Psycho. Didn't watch industry. Heard mixed things. Come to Evanston. I've been Evanston. I love Northwestern. Um, I saw you had a small easy turtle doves on your shelf. Why do you have them in your room? Because they're dope. Um, and I um, kind of have a, like a uh, Adidas plug that I know of. And I got those at retail price. Um, how to and when to prep for IB exits. Um, constantly. Um, and depends when you think you feel like you're prepared. Um, just like while well, work, I know there's like literally no time, but in any pockets of time, I'd prepare. Did you ever watch Martin's goes to live stream before you get arrested? I don't know who that is. How did you drag yourself out of the bed in the morning after work long nights? I told myself that there's always a greater purpose. Um, I know that sounds corny, but it just got to do it. Um, I'm also just like a morning person. So I woke up better if I woke up earlier. Um, top ways to expand network during pandemic. I think it's easy, easier if anything. Everyone's home all the time. It's very easy to network because you don't have to watch like your boss like trying to stare down at you. You can call any time and step away from the desk. Um, is networking important already? Networking is always important. Any careers that have exits paths into VC besides IB that you can think of are great opportunities. Strategic finance, um, any startup opportunities, consulting opportunities. Thanks, Greta Hendrick. Yep, thanks. What are your thoughts on consulting like MBB? I think consulting is dope. I've just never ventured into it. Um, I think it's a lot more open-ended than banking. Um, it's a great start to a career. How do you feel about a tech sales? I have a lot of friends in tech sales. Um, they do well for themselves. I think it's not for everybody, but I think it's great. No way, I'm at Northwestern too. Um, I'm not at Northwestern, but I think the other person is, yes. Any tips for getting an internship with a small firm during your first year of uni with no experience in the industry? Um, I would argue most people will first year um, have no experience. I hope you don't have IB experience during high school, but um, I would just... Network, um, show your passion. They're not going to expect experience. You're going to be fine. Are you considering B school? Not at the moment. Um, I did take the GMAT though. We might be neighbors. Um, I'm not in Evanston. Um, hey, Brian, have a super day at a top EB. Congratulations. Any advice based on what you may have heard from friends? It's three interviews in 25 minutes each. Yep. 
Um, it's probably like genre based, but they'll typically all ask like, run me through a story, why I be, why this firm. And then, um, one of them will cover technical. One of them might be a case study. And then one of them will be just like a general question. It's your typical, don't fret, uh, make sure you have your stamina on because 75 minutes is a long time. How should I learn about the firm inside out? Um, go on their website, go on forums, learn, uh, I hope you have networks. So they they probably dropped a little clue here and there about their culture and stuff like that. Where to learn Excel and PowerPoint? Uh, you just gotta dig in. Um, I never learned it through a course or anything. You just kind of do it and do it. Bob, if you're in high school, definitely work hard to get into Target. It's very hard to get into from lower schools. I'm at Mac and only a few, I guess that's like Canada related experience. Yeah, but guys, I know I keep saying this. Like if you're in high school, like how do you know you want to do banking? I just, I don't know. What are the top three most valuable skills you learned from IB? Um, grit, um, telling people how much you're working and um, Sounding very professional. What was your GMAT score? Um, it was over 700, but that's all. I'll leave it at that. Did you have small, easy turtle doves in your possession? I saw them in your apartment tour. I do. Yes. Um, they're not really small, but I have easy turtle doves. OMG, that's the new hairstyle. Yep, I got a haircut like three hours ago. Do you have any side hustles besides YouTube? Um, well, I have like the consulting service. I don't know if it's like a side hustle. Um and then me and my friends are collaborating on something that's relatively confidential, but it is um, at play. I have two things with two separate groups of friends that I'm working on. Um, do you have any? Do you have a comfy hoodie wreck? <laughs> I need to gather some work from my home entire. Um, my two hoodies are ones that I made custom um, that I'm working on with my friends that I, you guys see in some of my videos. But they're they're basically champion hoodies. They're really they're really um, they're really comfortable. Um, that's a funny question. Do you value money or work-life balance? Oh, it's hard because money will ultimately get you life balance at the end of the day, but you can't necessarily have both. I think right now I'm valuing work-life balance. Maybe I'll look back and regret it. But as of now, I think I kind of have both to the, to the extent that I'm satisfied. Does everyone in the IB hierarchy work long hours or just an analyst? You know what? That's a good question. Everyone says like analyst is hard, like um, senior officers are slacking off, like, the best MDs, the best directors, the best VPs worked all the time. Like, I think they kind of get a bad rep, but the best of them also worked all the time. Like, professional services, career-oriented, career-facing work is all about working all the time. How's your business going? Um, the, like, consulting business? Uh, very surprisingly well. Um, I'm shocked at the number of people that want to talk. Have you watched the TV show industry? Guys, I wish I could pin like an answer somewhere. I've never watched the show industry and I don't plan on doing so. Um, financial modeling future proof. Um, I don't know what that means. My internships have been in PE, but I'm recruiting for banking analyst position. Every call they ask why I be over PE. Um, I would say it's important to get client work. Um, it's important to see a lot of deals. You see much more deals happening in IV, IB. Um, there's a foundation that you get in IB that you wouldn't get in, in um, PE. Guys, just, just as a reminder, I'm, I'm going to sign off in seven minutes. I'm only doing an hour today, um, especially because last time I did two hours and I couldn't talk the next morning. Um, if you guys have any dying hard questions, let me know. But I'm probably just going to finish this up and then go um, away in seven minutes. But thanks, everyone, for joining so far. Um, my uh, um, If I didn't get go to a Target school, should I apply to Kellogg? I think uh, Kellogg's great, great school. Uh, if, you have, if you have the capability and, and the funds to go to an MBA, sure. Have you seen anyone come into IB as an older analyst, like a military veteran? I have, but um, coming out of an IB, de I'm deployed right now uh, after graduation. Come so MBA, yes, MBA is the best best route for your situation. How to get into MBA in a small firm besides MBA? Considering I don't have a business or finance degree, that's very hard. Depending on what your job is right now, um, you could try networking, you could try lateraling, um, and trying to make sense of your experience. But I would say MBA is the best. Nice job on your videos; they're informative and entertaining. Thank you so much. I like your cut, she. Thanks. Um, I don't know if I like it personally, but. Uh, it's decent. Um, did you move places? Um, no, no, no. Uh, so, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for a week, but I'm, I'm going back um, next week. Um, how do you deal with an associate director who doesn't know what it, <laughs> what they're doing? This lady does admin work and gets paid four times higher. Yes, there are definitely senior managers that don't know what they're doing. Um, I think, but, but part of hierarchy, part of corporate life, is is managing through that, and that's too bad. It's just that's just life. Um, I know that's like very impractical advice. I would just like do the work. If it really gets out of hand, like tell people, like tell them that you're doing the best, but this person doesn't know what they're doing. 
I'm interested in consulting. I'm a freshman, have an offer at a UBS. Heck yeah. Which one is better? I would go for UBS, um, especially for a freshman. What's your golf handicap? <laughs> I am not even good at golf enough to know even what my handicap is. I'm not great. Um, I typically play like 110 for 18 holes. Any suggestions about getting into equity research? Um, I only have a couple friends in equity research. Um, I don't know how they got in. It's definitely less networking based, I think, than banking. I'm going to uh, be heading into school for finance. What is your best advice? Um, I would say really think about why you're going to finance and what finance is going to do for you in the long run. Um, I think that's important. Um, I think I think banking is not the only route out of finance, but it's a good major to have. Uh, make sure you do it. Great job on the live stream. Greetings from Canada. Greetings. I'm surprised that I have so many people from Canada. It's kind of kind of uh, fun. I've never been to Canada. I heard good things. My best friend from college is from Canada, uh, from Vancouver. So good things about Canada. Thanks for joining, Grace. Do you know anything about quant trading? I have a couple friends in quant trading. I mean, it's like the goat of all finance. Um, they make a lot of money. Very hard to get into. Very, very high, hard barrier to entry. More skill-based than banking. Have you heard about the CFI MV, FMVA certification? I have not. Um, Peter Griffin, funny guy. Brian, definitely appreciate you. I wish you the best. Starts to crack open GMAT study guide. Um, I have a video on it. I used the Manhattan Prep the, uh, firm that Andrew Yang founded. It was pretty helpful. Um, 10 books on Amazon for like under $200. I studied by myself. I think anyone can study for the GMAT by themselves, take enough practice tests. Um, the science section or like the critical thinking or whatever section is kind of hard. Um, the math uh, data sufficiency is hard, but aside from that, I think anyone can do it uh, pretty well. Just finished my undergrad and BBA from a top school in Canada with no work experience. Any tips tips for breaking into IB? Um, after you graduated, I don't know if Canada is any different, but it's probably a little hard. I would just like get a job, do do it for a little bit, and get an MBA or try to lateral. But just like being honest, I think that that's a little hard. Thank you for so much for doing this. Uh, have a great night. No, I'm happy to. Uh, guys, I do this every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Um, Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. I'll obviously do it next week as well. Um, I'm probably going to be doing out of North Carolina, so I don't know how great the quality is going to be, but uh, that's just how it's going to be. Um, but as I kind of finish off, and I'll, I'll continue to answer questions, um, I, I love doing these. I think I'm more of a live guy. Uh, people always – Happy to answer your questions, whether it be IB, finance, career, just for fun questions. Um, I'm going to do with this every night, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern for an hour, um, and maybe longer sometimes if I have the energy for it. And then um, I guess just to advertise, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one conversations with more of caterized, catered, uh, customized experiences, then I, I do things via link, uh, Google Form link down below, 30-minute um, sessions for $50 um, as of now. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. But I will continue to answer questions for the remaining minutes. Um, CFA thoughts. Is it worth an IB? I think so once you're in IB, but like I want to do it to get an IB. Um, did you get an MBA when you first started? No, I don't have an MBA. How many, I know any ex lawyers who got into IB? I do. Um, North Carolina. Why there? From North Carolina, by the way. Um, I am uh, hanging out with some friends there. Thanks, Brian. Bye. Bye. Any tips for those of in sales and training? I'm a grad at a BB bank. Um, uh, SNT, like I've heard mixed things. Um, I think a lot of it is going to like these robo trading firms, but. Obviously, you're always going to need people to trade on behalf of others. Um, I considered SNT before, um, and I recruited for SNT before, but I think I was more suitable for banking. How much are you traveling due to work? Zero. I don't think any, like not many people are traveling for work in general. What is the retention rate for junior Goldman Sachs? And has no idea. Um, sorry, this is really cool, Brian. Thanks for doing this. No, guys, I, I genuinely like love doing this. Like, I, one of the reasons why I was so addicted to to uh, Clubhouse when it first came out is because. I love talking live. Like, I don't care if there's three people watching or if it's one-on-one -on -one, or if it's just me talking by myself. Like, I, I think talking live is the best form of, like, social media. Like, I wish I could do this every day. Um, that would be great. Um, and I wish I had content beyond, beyond. Maybe I'll start eating in front of a camera um, or talk about funnier things but or more controversial things because I think I'm, I'm a bit more careful on social media. But um, I, I, love doing, I love doing this. Um, instead of staying up all night to get your task done as an analyst, can you just communicate and say you'll get it done tomorrow? I, Kurt, please ask all the banks. There are so many things in banking that you can definitely do. It, it would have cost no one anything besides your sleep to do it the next day, but you just got to get it done. That's for the, the mind of the people. Do the let's go thing before you hop off. I will. Uh, what's your thoughts on someone who I'll do right now? Let's go. Uh, what's your thoughts on someone who works on technical team for upstream IB? I don't know what the technical team is. You should create a podcast. I am uh, working on it. Podcast is coming soon. 
Hope you keep doing this, Brian. Have a good night. See you next Wednesday. Thanks, Alexis. Uh, see you soon. I'm a current software and internet banker. What time did you get off at your last role typically? I get around 8-ish. Um, I, I got off average at like 10 to 11 p.m. Invalid dynamic link, career consulting link. Oh, maybe it just doesn't work for um, this like YouTube or like live thing. But, but if you go to my channel, it should, it should work. That's funny. Have you met any socially awkward interviewers? I have. Um, such as life. When do you banks give you that sweet, sweet Patagonia best? Some banks never do. Some banks do it like first week during training. Um, guys, so I'm going to I'm gonna sign off. It's been exactly an hour. Uh, this has been great, just like last time. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions always in the comments. Um, and I will see you guys next time.